Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to something completely different. Baldur's Gate 3. Something I have been playing in the uh, open beta for quite a while. Never finished it, never really actively, but role-playing games is something that really holds my interest, so yeah. Without much further ado, let's dive into it. Balanced game will be fine. I would close my eyes. <laughs> you. <clears throat> I love this cinematic. It really shows what is at stake right away. Well, I guess he keeps my eyes open, doesn't he? You. You. Ugh. Just imagine having that happen to you in real life. Terrifying, I'd say. Right. Don't reset the tutorials, for I have seen them. And I'm going with a random character. Hold on. Let's see how well the... going with a human, that is for sure. Um, well, I'm going with a custom character, that is for sure. Will I go with a human? I don't think so. Um, let's see. I either go monk... I mean, Monk is kind of fun, isn't it? Bonus action requires key points. How do you gain key points? I don't really know. Hmm. I could go for Sorcerer, just blow things up big time. Tell me, what kind of cantrips can I add? Okay, I can add... You know, Sorcerer... Has some pretty good cantrips overall. It's a possibility. Wizard... I suppose we can really blow things up. If I go for a wizard. However, I'm not sure. I could go for a ranger. I don't like the true strike cantrip, though. It only lasts two turns. So you're wasting one turn of it. 
casting it, right? So what, you only have it one turn? I would like to play with animals, though. Hmm. Okay, ranger. A ranger has dexterity as main stats. Um... As a human, I can move. Bike, halberd, glaives. Light armor and shields. And as a human, I can actually choose a skill that is kind of useful. However, as a high elf, I get short and longbow boosts. I think I'll go for that. Yes. High Elf or Wood Elf? Wood Elf can run faster. High Elf has a Fireball. I mean, fire never hurts, right? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is there anything else that really changes? Athletic Stealth. So we get better stealth and so yes, yeah, stealth and movement, and we lose the fireball. Hmm. I guess later on. This extra stealth skills will be very useful for one of the subclasses. But I don't want to go that subclass right now. I, I want to go um, Beastmaster essentially. So, yeah. You will have access to both of them. <laughs> no thanks. Um, I say for the first bit. Let's see. An undead receives disadvantage on rolls. Well, I'm not fighting the undead, am I? Target cannot use reactions. Spell has advantage on creatures with metal armor. Not quite sure if you have metal armor, but I'm gonna take it anyway. For now. I mean, I can change the cantrip later on, right? I believe so. If necessary. If not, well... I suppose then I have a uh, melee action that I can use. Um, find familiar without expanding a spell slot. Yep, Beast Tamer it is. Ooh, Sacred Flame. Sacred Flame is a horrible spell. At least, there are times it annoys the hell out of me. I could also go for a melee ranger. Go with ranger knights. Heavy armor proficiency. Oh, that could be fun as well. Yeah, let's do that. I have an idea. In that case... Um... Gain resistance to fire damage would be kind of you. Now let's let's stay let's stay with this with the uh, beast tamer. After all, a beast is useful. Um, yeah, an outlanders is a perfect uh, thing for me. 
Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Edit appearances, I believe I'm done here. Now... By far my favorite head. Head number three. Let's go... Something like this, or... Yeah, something like this is fine, I suppose. Mm. We can also go crazy. Well, go purple. Yeah, I'll keep it at this. Body art. Overall, I'm not a fan of the body art. Just like I'm not a fan of uh, tattoos in real life, overall. It can be pretty cool, though, but... Yeah, not for me. Jungle green. Oh well. If I go with this and you know what? Let's go with the lapis theme. Back, back, back. And it appearance. Thank you. Wasn't done yet. The eyes. I would like elf blue on one. And elf blue two on number two. My makeup. Let's go with a dark blue. With a slight gloss and metallic tint to it. So let's see if I make it bigger. Uh, that's a bit too big, isn't it? Mm, yeah, but the body art. I want you darker now. And let's remove some of the tattoo intensity. Yeah. Hair. No, 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 that doesn't do it for me. How about... Hmm. Hmm. This is a bit, bit classical, isn't it? Short and practical. Good work. Also, I'm not a fan of this interface. It's so slow to check everything compared to how it used to be. It was just like click, 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 and you had it, but... Um, difficult hairstyles. Mm, not bad. We could go with the classical high... Uh, one. Now, yeah, I suppose. I do like this one, though. I do like this one. Um, let's see, we get... 
a fairly blue theme, however. We could go with Raven Black and go with Black Highlights, make it a bit darker. Or maybe the other way around. Raven Black with... some faint blue highlights. Or purple ones. Yeah, that works too, doesn't it? Oddly enough, it does. All right. Just making sure what happens if we gray the hair out. Completely gray. No. Even 1%. Look at that. One. It's like all my highlights have turned white if I do that. So let's not. And... I don't know. Let me quickly think up something in terms of a name. Amunian. That will work for an elf. I need a guardian, do I? Huh, I wonder. In the open beta, it was... Well, she, or he, was quite differently dressed. I wonder if the... ...goal of the Guardian has changed as well. I do not know. I do know, though, that I have to... Ooh. is a bit dark, isn't it? I do like it, though. I do like it. Facial hair, none. Okay. What is that? Why is there a dead fill it on the ground there. Why indeed? Well. I suppose we have all seen this cinematic by now, haven't we? Even though I love it. Love the way the city looks. Can't wait to actually get there one day. Wonder what happened to that guy. Man. Oh dear. Five, six. Oh dear. 
But I'm gonna put strange uh, worms in their heads as well. I suppose they will. Oh, hello. You guys are riding dragons. burn me. Thank you very much. Either dragons are very strong, or that ship is crap. Life. Care to help me out there? Pretty please? Guess not. Oh dear. We appear to have been teleported to hell, haven't we? Um, options, audio. Let's turn up the master volume to. 40 to 50. And gameplay? Damn, the game actually continues running. I thought it would pause when I entered the menu. Oh well, here I am. And I look good. Okay, well, let's get ready to escape this infernal vessel, shall we? Indeed we shall. Let's be on my way. All right, let's get going. Oh, hello. Not everyone made it out alive. Is that so? Yeah. Lucky I made it out. Burnt to a crisp. Burnt to a crisp. Oh dear. Visions project into your mind. A nautiloid hurtling through the plains, resplendent with psionic energy. I suppose that is this ship, right? Eight gold. Not a lot. Pool 
that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. I'm not intelligent! <laughs> Casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Well, then I gotta break it, right? Exactly. Someone else got out. Ooh, hello. Who are you? Dead. Good. You are dead. Oh, if there is a platform up here, there must be something here. Hmm. That is useful indeed. Is there anything else here? Hmm. Of course I can get here. I lose one hit point if I do this, but we <laughs> I can heal. Talk to the undead, to the dead. I mean, it would be fun to talk to the goblin, see what happened to him, or her, or it. A thousand years of humanoid history, elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. I guess I'm the best historian ever now. Mm. There isn't really anything here, is there? No. So let's get up here. Except, of course, a creepy dead guy that's talking to me. We are here. Here. Under operation, I mean, scary. Quick save. Because I need something from you. brain quivers in expectation. Please, before they return! They return. Hmm. Who am I talking to? Oh wow. Did you guys see the tear falling from the, uh... Brain than person. The eye of the person? I must be in terrible pain. Or the brain, whatever it is. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. I suppose the man is still alive to some extent. Okay, what can we do? I suppose dexterity is my uh, go to. Excellent. The brain lifts from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Um, again, I could, but... I'm not going to. Also, 
it's kind of cute to have a brain in your hands like that. Less cute now. Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. Okay. Um. Us. We are us. We are us. We are many. Isn't it? Terrifying. Okay. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. Sure. I guess. I got a brain with me now. Can I keep you? In a way, you're kind of cute. I mean, look at look at the paw. It's like he's he's cleaning it like a dog. That's it, isn't it? It's just just a big dog, just a strange dog. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Strange dog. Whoa! He suddenly went up to twenty-one hit points. have any melee weapons, do I? No. You have one. Now that is an introduction. A lot better than in the uh, open data, that is for sure. Your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. My head. What is this? Squall. You are no thrall. Flaketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Okay. Where are we? We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the enemies. <clears throat> then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Hmm. Nice. Hmm. Ah! Creepy. <laughs> As we have our first fight on our hands. Okay. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna use a ranged attack. Kill that guy before looting the hell out of these. Ooh, yes. Oh, that's an action to equip it in combat. Oh, that's okay. That's not fair. <laughs> yeah, no, it is fair. Finish this off quickly, shall we? Wow! Oh damn, you survived! Your firebolt, however, was a failure. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Now, to why? The thank you. What's Always here? a ton of surprise. Nothing really here. 
of interest. Let's heal up just in case. Don't think I was wounded or spent any uh, points, but you never know. Okay. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, comes an end to this first episode. Join me next time to see how and if we can get out of this bloody ship. Until then, I wish you all a very fond farewell.